Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to go through some more recent finds that I picked up and I got a little bit of everything here. I got some records, I got some a CD, a DVD, singles, a lot, so a lot of different things to go through here today. And I'm going to start off with uh, two new releases that just came out on Friday. And first of all, as you can see, I got my Greta Van Fleet shirt on. Uh, this just came out on Friday. This is Greta Van Fleet's newest album. It's called The Battle at Garden's Gate. And this is the Walmart exclusive that I found. It's the translucent vinyl here. And here I'll show you the hype sticker. And I'm sorry about the glare here. I'm going to take, this is a gatefold, so I'm going to take the, the shrink wrap off of here and I'll be able to see this a little better. You can see it's made in France. Uh, so we'll open this up and take a look at this together for the first time. Now I haven't heard the entire album yet. I've just heard a few of the tracks that they had released off of this uh, prior to the album coming out. And I've pretty much liked what I heard from those tracks so hopefully the rest of the album follows that same suit so here we got the it's kind of a almost like a leather textured cover here uh, with the gold foil inlay there and here we can hopefully get to see the track listing and we'll take a look at the gatefold Interesting. I notice a lot of these these pictures here are kind of embossed. They're kind of raised from the from the picture. And what do we got here? Is looks like a booklet. Okay. There's. Lyrics, I guess, for each track. Kind of hard to show a book like this on, on camera, but there's a picture of the guys there. So yeah, pretty much just a giant lyric book. And we'll take a look at the first vinyl here. Nice polyline sleeve. And here's the vinyl. And I'm assuming, let's put this back here, I'm assuming that both of the labels are probably the same, but we'll just check to be sure. Uh, yep, both labels will be the same there, and both clear vinyl, so. And I think that's everything that's included there. No download card or anything like that. So, so yeah, I'm really excited to listen to this all the way through. Um, next up, we'll go with, uh, I just got two, uh, two new releases that came out on Friday. And the second one here is uh, Tom Petty, Finding Wildflowers. This is the alternate versions. Um, if you look back on my video that I did about the wildflowers and all the rest box set um, this is the uh, fifth cd that was on the box set it was exclusive to that set that i got apparently uh, but then now they released this on vinyl so and this is on gold vinyl so be interested to see what that looks like and there's no no gatefold on this one, so we'll leave the shrink on there for some protection. Okay. Okay, and first here we got, before we get to the vinyl, we got a little pamphlet here. Nice picture. And what is this? I got a little essay there from uh, from Ryan Uliate. So 
I'll be able to see that if you paused or not. But, uh, then we got just some some comments from uh, Rick Rubin, Ben Montench, Ryan Uliage. Uh, just a lot of different, different comments from the guys there on each song and when it was recorded and things like that. So a lot of good information to look over there. And then the albums themselves come in these nice black sleeves. All right, and here's the vinyl here. Get a close up of the label. It's almost, you can't really pick it up on the camera here, but it's almost like a marble, marble texture to the, to the vinyl. So that's really cool looking. Hmm, interesting. One thing I noticed is a, oh, you probably won't be able to see it here. It's like a chunk taken out of the side of the, <laughs> the vinyl there. Anyway. And yeah, that's a, a double LP set, and so both of them look the same. So Yeah, this is a really great, great listen if you want to check that out. And also when I was in Walmart, I just I saw this one here. This is Metallica's Black Album. I didn't have this album on vinyl, and I saw that this was a another Walmart exclusive. And the vinyl on this one looks pretty cool. Hopefully it'll show up on the camera. Um, and inside we got this the sheet with the lyrics. And here's the vinyl. kind of shows up. It's almost like a black, brown, translucent, swirly. <laughs> it's really, really cool looking, I think. And again, that's uh, another uh, double LP set. And here's the other one. All right. Set that one aside. Oh, and that did did also come with a download card too. So, um, and I don't know if it was the last video I did or one of the previous ones uh, where I showed some more vinyl that I picked up. Uh, I showed the Sturgill Simpson Cut and Grass Volume One, where he does bluegrass versions of his pre some of his previous material. Well, they uh, he came out with Volume Two now. So I picked that up. And this is the indie exclusive on opaque blue and white swirl vinyl. And one thing that's interesting about this one too is all this stuff here, the letters and the picture and stuff, it's all glow in the dark. So <laughs> if you shine this in some light for a while and then turn the lights off, this all glows in the dark. Kind of an interesting feature. And there's the group on the back there and the track listing. And we'll take a look at this cool blue and white vinyl. Get a close up of the label. I thought that looked pretty cool. And the songs are good too, so. <laughs> All right, and then I actually did pick up some used vinyl. Uh, this is one that I've always looked at in the store, but I've never actually picked it up. Uh, it's usually in terrible shape whenever I see it, but this is Edgar Winter Group. Um, they only come out at night. This is in fairly decent shape, and for the price, I decided to pick it up. This has got two of my favorite Edgar Winter songs on it, uh, Free Ride and Frankenstein. And here's the inner sleeve. That's, that's a... And 
and here's the album itself. It's nice to have that one. And then uh, I found these three in in the used section as well. Um, is Leon Redbone. I believe this is his first album on the track. And it's still in the shrink wrap. Uh, let's see, we can get the songs that are on this album here. I need to clean up the vinyl a little bit, but it's it's in really really nice shape, just a little dusty and stuff. But the Warner Brothers label, and then I think this is his second album, uh, Double Time. There's the tracks on that one. I can see a little little dusty. I haven't had a chance to clean these off quite yet. So, and then I think this is possibly his fourth fourth album, if I'm not mistaken, uh, from Branch to Branch. Again, in the shrink wrap. I'm guessing it's probably a later pressing or something because it's got the specially priced sticker on there, but that's okay. I don't know where the track. I don't know if you'll be able to see the tracks on this one. I'll show you on the on the vinyl instead. Might be a little easier. Okay. There's side one. Side two. All right. So there's that. And then I was uh, going through some of the 45s at the store and I saw, I got to the Paul McCartney section, I saw this Spies Like Us single with the picture sleeve. So I grabbed that. It was pretty, pretty cheap. And then it's, most of my, or all my albums I catalog on, uh, on Discog so I know what I got, but I don't do that with my 45s. And so this is one of those instances where I got home and I realized that I already had this in my collection. So I got a duplicate of that now. Um, but this one here I did not have in my collection, so that was nice. <laughs> but here's a uh, single for So Bad and Pipes of Peace. But yeah, Pipes of Peace is on the B side. A nice picture sleeve as well. And here's the Columbia label for that one. There's nice little additions there. And then going through the CD section, there's just one CD I picked up. Uh, nothing else really caught my eye too much, but I did find this Dave Clark 5 Greatest Hits Collection. Uh, it's called Dave Clark 5 All the Hits. And it might not show up there. But there's the track listing, 16 tracks. And that's pretty much all I need from Dave Clark 5, I guess. <laughs> Just a little write-up by him. And here is the... It turned there. Here's the CD. And there's a little booklet that's included with it as well. Um, not too much information here, really. Um, but then it goes into some... Uh, here's some other pictures. Dave Clark versus, versus the Beatles. And they just got some quotes by different artists. Like here we got Ozzy has a little quote there. Tom Hanks. Just a lot of random people saying what effect the Dave Clark Five had on them. Um, here's one from John Lennon. He says, the Dave Clark Five were the biggest challenge to the Beatles. But I think this has all been uh, remastered for this release. 
don't know how many times the Dave Clark 5 tracks have been remastered, but this is a new 2020 release. And they all sound really good on here, so it's a good one to pick up if you are looking for that kind of music. Uh, and then I also picked up this, uh, I think this was at Barnes & Noble, I picked this up. It was on sale. It was a DVD for Eric Clapton, Life in 12 Bars documentary. Uh, it's I'm not seeing, a 2018 documentary. But two and a half hours I think it says. Uh, I haven't had a chance to watch this yet either and trying to find some time to actually sit down and watch this. But it should be should be interesting, I'm sure. And I see that's put out through the Eagle Vision company. They do a lot of a lot of great document music documentaries. So there's that. Um, and this is something that uh, in my last video, I was gathering stuff up to show it in my video and I knew I was going to forget something and I forgot to show this. But uh, this is something I found online. And I, I'd looked at these for quite a while and I've never actually picked one up. Um, it's for the, it's a promotional display for the Beatles Rock and Roll Music album from 1976. And what this is... He has a clothesline, it's called, and here you can see it got it has instructions here of how to set it all up. Um, I really don't have a lot of room to hang this kind of thing in here, but uh, you take the, the provided string and you basically make a clothesline across your store or wherever you're displaying this, and then you take the, the sheet and it's the same picture on both sides for the rock and roll ones. So then you just hang this over the over the string. So when people are walking through the store, they can see the, the advertisement there. And so there's several different pictures here. You can see it was advertised on TV, the two records set. So I think all the ones that are the rock and roll music are the same picture on both sides. But then they also advertise their previous releases and also solo releases. So you just you hang these up on the clothesline and as people walk through the store they can see all the different Beatles and solo Beatles albums that are available for purchase. And I just like it for these pictures because they're basically, you know, full album size pictures. Uh, but there's there's several of the you know the main the main focus of the display is the rock and roll music one but uh, it's cool to see all the other all the other releases featured here wings at speed of sound and you get a few more rock and roll music here we'll set aside and then we got hey jude and imagine Abbey Road and Band on the Run, White Album and Help, and then several more rock and roll music. So, yeah, like I said, it's it's a lot of stuff to hang up, and I don't really have the space in here. I'd be running into that with my head all over the place. So, um, still, if I ever find a place to hang that, it'll be really cool to, to hang that up. And then finally, uh, the last thing I picked up is this KISS Little People Collector Series. Um, I showed it in a previous video. I don't remember how long. It was quite a few videos back. They had a Beatles version of this. And I saw this one online and I figured I'd pick this one up too because it was, it was fairly cheap, I thought, for, for this. And it's not just for kids. It says here it's for ages 1 to 101, so I'm definitely between that range. So, <laughs> so yeah, I thought that was a pretty, pretty interesting collectible there. Looks nice on the shelf. All right. So, yeah, that's pretty much everything I got for this video. So, uh, until next time, stay, take care, everybody, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you.